When this future hockey coach made his way into the world, it was impossible to know at the time, but he would go on to share more than just his father's name. He would also share his success in the game of hockey. It was from his father and fellow Hall of Fame member, Dr. George Gwazdecki, that he would first be introduced to the game that he would spend his life pursuing, first as an athlete, then as a coach. Gaining a strong foundation in hockey by playing in the minor leagues of Port Arthur, his award-winning play saw him serve on a number of teams before advancing to the junior ranks in the late 1960s. Spending time on the ice, playing alongside and learning from a number of other future Hall of Famers, his teammates and coaches included the likes of Lee Foglin, Nelson Pyatt, Lauren Allard and Ab Cava. Enjoying success with the Thunder Bay Balkans during the early 1970s, his talents and aggressive style of play earned him a spot on the forward line of the University of Wisconsin Badgers. And it was while at U of W that he got his first taste of success in National Collegiate Hockey, serving as a member of the 1977 NCAA Championship squad. Graduating the following year as a four-year letter winner with his bachelor's degree in physical education, he went on to earn his Master's of Education from University of Wisconsin River Falls the following year. Signed on as their head coach, he led the River Falls Falcons to the 1983 NAIA title, earning NAIA Coach of the Year honors. With a 687 coaching record to his credit, he was recruited by Michigan State University, joining their assistant coaching staff. And it was here that he added another national title to his growing resume, helping to lead the Spartans to the 1985-86 NCAA title. In 1989, when the University of Miami of Ohio was looking for someone to serve as a head coach of their Division I Red Hawks, George was selected for that position. His five-season stay with the club was impressive, leading the team to the first-ever CCHA title in 1993 and twice being named CCHA Coach of the Year. And his efforts also earned him the 1993 Spencer Penrose Award as the NCAA's National Coach of the Year, an award he would win again in 2005. Next up for the much sought after coach, a move to the University of Denver, a school with a previous record of success in NCAA play that was looking to the new coach to regain that national prominence, and he didn't disappoint. Since taking over the reins of the Pioneers in 1994, he's been credited with bringing the excitement back to one of college hockey's proudest programs. Inheriting a team that finished ninth in the WCHA in 1993, he guided them to the 1995 NCAA Tournament quarterfinals, a feat that earned him WCHA Coach of the Year honors. Entering the 2004 NCAA Frozen Four as underdogs, his team's come from behind win over Minnesota Duluth and a 1-0 victory over Maine in the championship game earned the Pioneers their first NCAA to a national hockey title as a player, assistant coach, and head coach. Repeating as NCAA champions in 2005, he earned his second national and third of what would become four WCHA Coach of the Year awards. As he enters his 25th season behind the bench, this outstanding builder of hockey has amassed a collegiate coaching record of 591. With Gwazdecki coach teams reaching the NCAA tournament in 10 of the last 18 years and with two of those resulting in national championships. Along the way, he has also gained the respect and admiration of the players, fans, and his hometown.